The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, we got a dirty one. Armstrong, easy to take the panels off of, all the way around. Okay, we're gonna talk about Sorry guys, got interrupted by a phone call. All right, so there's this has been a a hot topic on Facebook in the Facebook group and a pretty good bit here on YouTube on one of my other videos. People saying all oh, the way you wash your coils, you're pushing the dirt into deeper into the coil. It's like really come on. Let me tell you something. Back flushing when they're this dirty is not going to knock that stuff off. If you back flush that that stuff's not gonna come off. This unit is so dirty, it was tripping the high pressure switch. So you have to, and that, that crap about pushing it deeper into the coil, I mean, what do y'all think is behind the coil, a brick wall? And it doesn't push it. I've already cleaned two sides of it with just water. And now I'm gonna clean it with the camera on and show y'all that it doesn't push it deeper into the coil. It actually flies off the coil and lands on the ground or down on the bottom of the unit. falling off. It's not pushing it into the damn coil. I'm even going to clean the slab right here. Watch. See? clean it is right now. Yes, look at the top on the bottom of that unit. not push it deeper into the coil when you got a coil this dirty back flushing ain't gonna cut it
pump-up sprayer can kiss my ass. Nice and clean. Coil gun, coil gun does a really good job. Yeah, she'd run a, a few seconds, probably about 30, 40 seconds, and then shut off on high head. So I'm gonna sit here with it for a minute, make sure we're okay. And then I'm gonna start putting these panels back on. All right, guys, she's all cleaned up. And put back together. Very easy to take apart and clean. I know the Ream and Rudes do the same thing. And I know there's two screws on these versus one on Rude and Ream, depending on how tall they are. But I think this one's actually easier to take apart. But it's uh, back up and running, and it's cooling well.